Hi, welcome to another Lawn Fawn Cards video. Um, my brother made that wonderful new intro for me. Thank you so much, Kyle. I love it. It makes me so happy. Um, anyways, here we are starting with uh, the same card base, five and a half inches by four and a quarter. And uh, I'm going to be showing you a card today that I make from a template. And um, here's the template right now. Um, it's so I can do this four circle card. And I made it out of cardstock and I just keep it in a little folder um, so that I always have it. So I don't have to make this template again. But I'm going to show you right now. I just make a line down the middle and then across going through the middle of a three and three quarter inch by five inch front of the card. Then I am go and make diagonals through that same middle as I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to continue on making diagonals within each square creating kind of a crosshair effect. And you're going to use those crosshairs to center your punch. This is a 1 and 3 eighths inch, pu inch punch. And I'm just circling it in those crosshairs and I'm going to punch out the circle. So there I go just trying to line it up. You know me it takes forever. I'm horrible at lining things up. Um, and just do the best you can and uh, punch it out. That's the best part about only doing this once and having a template is that um, you just don't have to go through this whole process again. So just showing you the second punch and you would do it for all four circles. And so right now we're going to go back. Here's my um, unpunched front of the card, three and three quarter inch by five inch. And I'm going to uh, ink the edges with this Colorbox Q warm violet color. Um, so I'm just kind of running it along the edges, kind of like swiping it along the edge. And it gives kind of a cool effect. So right now I'm just finishing it off. And um, it just adds a little bit something extra in my opinion. Um, and I love those little color box cues. It's a good bang for your buck. Um, and so right now I'm going to use my template and line it up with my piece of paper and start punching out my four circles with my one and three eighth inch punch. So um, here I go. I'm just going to have it make sure all the corners are lined up, hold on to it, and just punch away. Um, as you can see with that template, you could just do this over and over again if you had to. I'm just punching the last one there. And, uh, and there we go. Now I have the front of my card. So, um, so it looks really great and perfect circles every time. Right now I'm just smoothing out an edge there of a circle that didn't punch perfectly. So anyways, the next thing we were going to do is gonna add dimensionals. I added an excessive amount because on this one, if you don't, it kind of feels like it's falling apart. It doesn't feel sturdy. So um, once again, that's a lot of dimensionals, but there we go. Um, just throwing away all those little backs because they're really staticky and they get stuck to me. So throwing them away. And now I'm just centering um, my circular card card onto my card front and, um, and just adhering it down and um, just you know one eighth of an inch all the way around. And uh, there I go. So that's it. And um, just pushing it down, make, making sure it's you know, adhered and kind of smoothing out some of the rough edges there. And um, now we're going to move on to some stamping. Um, this set is called Faux Ribbon um, by Paper Tray Ink. Again, it has these really cute ribbon-like borders, little dots and circles and things. But it also has some great sentiments in it. And the one I'm going to use is um, thinking of. I think this is thinking of you today. And I'm also going to use a little scrolly thing that the set comes with too. So. Um, I'm just doing that now and I'm using a block that's the appropriate size for that. You want to really make sure you use an acrylic block that works for the size of what you're using. If, if not, you end up getting ink all over the place. Um, so right now I'm just trying to make that straight, the sentiment. And then I'm going to take um, the little scroll thing I was talking about. And at first I'm just going to try to adhere it under it and I can't get it straight. You're going to see me do that. And so what I suggest you do instead with these that you just can't get right is play, place it on your paper. You know as you would want it to be and then line the stamp over it um, so that you get how you want it. So right there now I'm making sure it's really straight with my words and just sticking it to the stamp and now I have a perfect little put together stamp with two images in one. Uh, you know I like to make things easier so I can stamp them both at once that's better. So right now I'm taking out um, this color is called Orchid Opulence uh, by stamping up to dye ink and I'm just gonna stamp this image I was just just thinking of, yeah, just say thinking of you today. Sorry, I couldn't remember. Um, and I'm going to punch that out with a, um, I think it's a one and one quarter inch circle punch. Um, so just punching that out. And we're going to use that in a little bit later on the card. So I'm um, just going to put that aside. And then I'm going to work again with the Orchid Opulence uh, dye ink with this flower that's from the Garden of Life set from Paper Tray Ink. Um, which is a really beautiful flower set um, that I used in the video that had the 
the card with the button that I covered up an ink smudge with. So I just stamped those flowers in three of the circles, just straight onto the white card base. And then I put some dimensionals on the back of that circle we punched out earlier. And I'm going to put that in the last circle. Um, and that dimension kind of just adds an extra extra something to the card. The cool thing about this card is you could make it for a baby and put little animals in the circles and put congratulations in, in the other circle. You could add anything. Um, and then right now I'm going to do some paper piercing. And this is a set that comes from Stamping Up. It has this foam pad that you can use your paper piercer through and this little grid with holes that helps you um, line up your paper piercing. And for someone like me that can't line things up, that makes me happy. And that right there is my paper piercer, or owl it's also called. Um, and I'm just going to line up. I'm putting that uh, foam pad underneath the front of my card um, and then I'm gonna line up uh, this little grid of holes on the edge of my card and there you're gonna see um, my hair a little bit uh, this is one of those things you just have to lean over it there's no other way to do it um, I, I had already um, always end up poking myself with this um, thing anyway so I have to be careful so I just did um, five holes up and then four across on the other side so it looks like five and five you know four and four with the one in the, in the corner um, but it looks like five on each side. So I'm just uh, poking those out and I did it to three of the corners. So I'm uh, moving on to the corner and I'm just going to fast forward now um, to the last uh, the last upper right hand corner. I'm just uh, poking out those last holes. And I'll give you a little close up here of what it looks like. I think it's a really nice subtle but really nice detail. Okay now I'm picking out a flower for my card. That's my little flower stash right there and this is a purple felt flower. Um, and right now I'm trying to pick a color flower that kind of goes with that greenish teal, um, you know, the, the front of the card. And so I found one there, um, and you know, I think it looks pretty good with the card. I don't like things to exactly match, so I like that. This is my Button and Brad stash, and I have these little um, kind of jewel rhinestone-y ones, and I know I have a purple in there somewhere. I'm searching for it, and I found it. Um, it's uh, really pretty, so I'm just sticking it through um, the one flower and then the other, so I can kind of line them up how I like. And um, and I like that all the purples are a little different, and that the blue-greens are all a little different. Um, that's just me. I'm not a matchy-matchy person, so um, I, I like that. Anyways, um, so right now I'm just adding, a, I got a new roll of glue dots. I'm just adding the glue dots. It's kind of sometimes easier to bring whatever you want the glue dots on to the glue dots instead of the glue dots to the object, if that makes sense, because it just ends up not getting stuck to your fingers. And I'm putting that flower in the corner without the paper piercing, um, just for, you know, once again, just a little extra fun thing. So um, there's that. And then right now I'm just doing my last thing. I'm going to add stickles. Um, this is a silver stickles. It's like a glitter glue. Um, I think it's by Ranger. I really, really like them. Um, they come in about a million colors. And I'm just going to put it in the middle of each flower to kind of go along with that silver brad. There's going to be some silver sparkles in each flower. So I'm just going through and adding that in. Um, and if you put it, you can actually pile up a lot and let it dry and it dries as this kind of hard little center for the flowers and it gives it more 3D um, than it really then you can really see here in the video so um, just adding those last stickles and there's my card and here are some pictures um, I hope you enjoyed the video today uh, thanks for watching and have an amazing day